here uh, to uh, check on whether I was thinking of Griffey in that little picture. I don't know why. Of the monkey? Of the monkey? <laughs> I, I, <don't, laughs> I almost fluffy. said something about Griffey there, but I was like, Griffey's not a monkey. He's no. Griffey's a golden doodle. He's Griffey. furry. Griffey's not not a really monkey. appropriate, probably. But anyway, <laughs> well, the showers are kind of moving out of the area, thankfully. Yeah, yeah, they are. Let's take a look outside. It's been raining all morning long up in places like Osage, Nawada, Washington County, and that's why you have that flash flood warning still in effect, but those showers and storms moving out. It's just taking its, uh, its time this morning. It has been dry here in Tulsa, even though you go outside, you look up at the sky and it looks menacing. It's up here. It's what you're seeing up to the north. We haven't seen any of these showers and storms make their way towards Tulsa. Our best chance for rain now is going to come this evening as a cold front moves through and it will be bringing us a chance for potentially some severe storms. So this is pretty much all we've seen this morning. Just cloud coverage with those storms just to the north in this morning and nice light show for you out there as well. Uh, temperatures now are slowly warming up. We're getting a little more sunshine out there. As soon as that sun starts to hit, we'll see those temperatures really start getting a little bit warmer. And also we have some humidity out there as well, so it's making it feel even warmer than that. So right now it feels like 82, even though temps coming in closer to about 79. And winds out of the south right now at 14 miles per hour. So you can see a big temperature difference. Of course, this is because of the rainfall. Bartlesville and Coffeeville are still sitting in the 60s because they continue to see rain. But just south there, we have some 80s in McAllister. You fall up more sunshine for you right now. Tulsa again hitting a little bit more sun, so we're back up into the upper 70s at this point. But we'll look for those temperatures then to make their way uh, on up to close to 90 degrees this afternoon. So it's going to feel a little more like summer. So there is a risk of potentially seeing some severe storms, and now Tulsa under that slight risk of seeing severe weather later on this evening. Our main threats will be the wind, lightning, maybe some hail, but really wind is going to be the big one for us. Not expecting any tornadoes out of this one as this line moves through. It'll happen later tonight. Here again, we'll look for a break in the clouds, a little mix of sun and clouds for you out there through the day. And then by 8 39 p.m., you see this line that starts to set up just out to the west. It'll continue to push on down towards Tulsa, closer towards that I 44 corridor by about 10 p.m. or so. So keep this in mind. If you do head out to the fair tonight, just keep your eyes to the sky too, because this could speed up just a little bit, and you don't want to get caught in any of these storms as they make their way through. But this will continue until the early morning hours, early morning hours of Friday, and then we'll push on out by Friday. Friday morning. So today, 90 is your expected high out at the fair. Again, keep your eye out to the sky. Know what's going on with those storms if you're going to be out there later on in the day. Our highs today, 90, but that cold front comes through, and then tomorrow, a high only of 66 degrees. Daniel?